Bonjour. Bienvenue. Yo, 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 welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are diving into the world of art, modern and performance art, some of the most bizarre stuff that you ever see. From bathing eggs to sleeping inside animals, this is my top 10 weirdest performing art shows. Let me know what you think about the list in the comments. In September 2018, a controversial South African performance artist, Stephen Cohen, arrived at the Eiffel Tower in Paris wearing tight pants, a bed-like outfit symbolizing a chicken, with long red gloves and the white string attached from his penis to a real-life chicken rooster cock. In his own words, he said he wanted to explore the duality of being a South African citizen in France and chose the rooster and the Eiffel Tower because they are both the French national symbol, as well as doing it in public to show his South African approach to using public spaces with a political consciousness. His performance was strongly collaborated with the rooster which did all the dancing, flapping wings and walking with him. He ended up getting in trouble as the French law enforcement had to take him to court on accounts of sexual exhibition in March the following year. This, this is the ultimate performance art. Two men literally living on this giant wooden wheel. And the only way to make this work, they have to constantly be in perfect balance. In 2014, New York performance artists White Shelley and Alex Shelley put a 10-day performance art show living in an oversized hamster wheel, which was like a two-bedroom apartment with one on the inside and one on the outside. And the only way that this could work was if they were completely in balance with each other. They called it social relationship architecture as the whole project had to depend on them understanding each other. To change activities, they had to walk in different directions to turn the wheel and to get to the pieces of the furniture. Uh, we wanted to explore two people having to synchronize their entire day. All of the sort of normal activities of the day spin around and we synchronize. May 2014, Pina and Viola made the news as during the Gabba Expo in Paris, as part of the show, they made a sneakerhead leak and sneak their shoes. From the sole to the shoe strings, socks and the feet itself dominating him to satisfy his foot fetish. They wanted to toy with the idea that shoe fetishism could go beyond just high leather boots and can also slip into sneakers. As there are women that are sneakers too, wearing basketball shoes with super short skirts. In Pina's words to Dazed, she says she had to train under cold showers for two weeks in order to be strong in mind to treat her man like a dog. March 2014, Millie Brown is a well-known controversial early stylist. She is known for her unconventional ways of painting in which unlike everyone else using their hands to paint, she vomits the paint on canvas. She got famous after Lady Gaga incorporated her art performance into a choreography for Swine at the Austin Festival. Drinking a bottle of luminous green milk and throwing up on Lady Gaga on stage. In which Lady Gaga gave a stamp of approval by calling it art in its purest form. This of course sent shock waves of discussions as it became a viral moment coming with its own criticism, with people calling it disgusting. So this has to be the weirdest thing we've seen in a long time. Yeah, for 13 days and 13 nights, artist Abraham Poppin Shell is living inside a hollowed out bear sculpture in a museum in Paris. The 1st of February 2014, in Paris, France, artist Abraham Poincheval began his art performance piece, living inside the hollowed out carcass of a bear positioned in the middle of the museum. For 13 days and 13 nights with everything he needs to survive, food, water, and even a place to relieve himself. He said he was inspired by carcasses he encountered while performing another piece in the French Alps. In his own words, his goal was to understand his own physical limits and experience animal nature a symbolic image of the inside out of the beer during hibernation, saying the best way to understand objects is not from a distance, but by entering them. October to November 2018, 
Casey Jenkins, a female body artist, released a 20th day performance stretching from October to November named Casting of My Own. This was met with mixed reviews, as some people called it downright disturbing, because the artist was inserting balls of holes into a vagina each day before casting them off and using them to knit during a performance. The wool started as white and slowly turned into red as it soaked with blood, then back to white again. In other words, the work explored the dissonance between an individual's quiet desires and potential, and intense community expectations regarding what they should do with their body based on perceived gender. Between January 15 to 29, 1972, Vitoa Kondi performed one of the most disturbing art pieces in the world of art, seedbed in Sonali and Kalar in New York City. He would lay underneath a wooden ramp installed by the gallery on the floor masturbating to visitors that would come in the gallery. As he had them walk above him, Vito's spoken sexual fantasies about the visitors walking above him were heard through the loudspeakers in the gallery. As he would murmur things like, you are pushing your cunt down my mouth or you are ramming your cock down my ass. He would go on to masturbate for 8 hours a day as people came in to experience the performance for 2 weeks. Everything associated with seedbed went on to become iconic. From the stage, the photos, the producer, and even got a remake years later as another controversial body artist, Anna Abramovich, performed her own version of Seedbed in 2005. New York artist Waffle Bilal captured national attention when he underwent a painful two hour operation, all in the name of art. In 2010, Wafa Bilal, an Iraqi American artist known for his interactive works and provoking dialogue about international politics, he surgically installed a camera on the back of his head, saying it was inspired by his life story during his journey from Iraq to Saudi Arabia, on to Kuwait, and then to the US. He left many people and places behind, wishing he could have recorded these images so that he could look back on them to have them serve as a reminder and record of all places he was forced to leave behind and may never see again. The project compromised of three parts. The small digital camera surgically mounted to his head with a USB cable, a small lightweight laptop which he carried connected to the camera by a USB cable, and a 3G wireless connection. He went on to make an interactive website that would update and show pictures from the back of his head so everyone can see how the world around him is. Whether it's just random people, the pillow, or just random rooms. April 2014, Milo Moy, a Swiss artist in Germany, sparked controversy as she literally gave birth to eggs as an art performance by putting eggs filled with paint in a vagina and dropping them on the canvas. To make things more controversial, she performed it in the middle of the street with people going by and seeing naked. She later said the performance was about the creation fear the symbolic strength of casual and the creative power of femininity. Now we head to Moscow, where activist and performance artist Pyotr Pavlensky has taken peaceful protest and turned it up to 11. In 2013 November, Pavlensky showed the world and opened a dialogue on how deep art can go before it's considered self-destruction as he performed what many artists called equivalent to setting yourself on fire. On a Sunday morning, the police were called to say the artist nailed his boss to the famous Red Square Park in Russia. In a statement he gave to the police, he said, the performance can be seen as a metaphor for everything, political indifference, and fatalism of contemporary Russian society. As the government turns the country into one big prison, stealing from the people, and using the money to grow and enrich the police apparatus and other repressive structures. Society is allowing this and forgetting its numerical advantage is bringing the triumph of the police state closer by its inaction. So yeah, this is my top 10. Let me know if I left out some.